In this video, we are going to take a look at how to access your gradebook, create assignments, and leave student feedback inside of the gradebook. Just as a reminder, I am in a sample instance of Classroom 360, so there are some buttons or items that may look a little different than on your screen. For example, this teacher doesn't have very many students. So let's go ahead and jump in. I am on Classroom 360, and there are a couple ways to get into the gradebook. So in this case, we have multiple hours. So if I want to get into the gradebook for one of these hours, I can go under the Grading Due Report column and click the little icon that associates with the row of the hour, or I can go to the three stack dots that's next to that row, that hour, and then jump into gradebook that way. So there are several ways you can get inside of a gradebook. Once the gradebook opens, immediately at the top, I like to take a look at the term and make sure I'm filtered how I want to be. So in this case, I only want to look at term four grades, but this filter will allow me to see more or less depending on what I'm trying to do. The next item I like to look at when I'm starting to look at a gradebook in Classroom 360 is the preferences icon at the bottom. When this opens, you'll notice that there are a number of preferences that you can set, but one of the most important preferences to take a look at is the gradebook preference section. This is going to help you customize your gradebook view so it's easier for you to see what you need to see when you want to see it and help you with putting in grades. So some of the icons that I like to take a look at as you scroll down, how you want to see or what order you want to see assignments, how you want them sorted. So you can drop and drag those. So do you want to see your assignments that show up in date order or by category? You can adjust there. As you scroll down, another really great tool is when using fill blank scores. So you'll see in just a moment, I'll show you what this looks like. But when I create an assignment and I go through and put in scores, for any that are blank, I can set this here and use the fill blank scores, and any blank scores will fill with whatever I set here. So if I want to say scores is zero, or perhaps I want to do, and again, you don't have necessarily all these icons, or if I just want to say market exempt, if not, or market zero and market late, I can do, choose to do that here if I want to. As I scroll down, auto save, how often do you want it to save? I'm going to change that to five minutes. And then columns. So right now I'm seeing the student's name in not non-scrolling. Maybe I also want to see alerts because I'm just curious if the student has an IEP or 504. I want to see that there. You could choose grade level or any other information that you want to see there. You can show there as well. So then at the bottom, I'm going to press save to save these preferences. This applies to all my grade books. And I can go in here at any time and make those changes. So now that I've updated it, I can see that I, my students have some medical alerts, no IEPs. Again, just like in attendance, all of these names are clickable if you wanted to jump in and see some student information. Let's now talk about how to add assignments. In the bottom left-hand corner, you're going to see an Add Assignment button. This is going to give you the quick Add Assignment. So if you want to, on the fly, make a quick assignment here, you can. I'm going to go ahead and expand out to all fields, though, in this case. Your grading categories are here, so if you need to change the category type. We're not going to mess with sequence. This will auto-apply. But I'm going to go ahead and put in the summary the name of the assignment. So maybe this is our essay here. You don't have to put a date assigned. You can. You must have a due date. This is just like classic. You must have a due date and you must have possible points. So how many points is the essay worth? I can put that there. Another really helpful tool, if you teach more than one section of a course, you can choose to copy it to all sections of this course. So in this case, I only teach one. But let's say I want to assign it to all. I can select all or select the courses that I want to copy this assignment to. It will then create the grading column with the points and the due date and the title in all of my grade books with just these couple of clicks here, which is awesome. Now I can click Save, or if I have some other assignment columns I want to create, I can check this Save and New, and it will pop up a new blank field and save my previous. I'm going to go ahead and save this now. 
and now we'll see that load. Now I picked a due date that was outside, so we'll just pretend that this is mine here. One of the awesome features about Classroom 360 is this tiny little A here. What this A means is that this student, Dakota, was absent on the due date of this assignment so that I can visually see there that perhaps he won't have a score because he was absent on the day it was due. So then all of these fields here are ready for me to start typing so I can go in and put my point value in and go down my row and give my students points. And look there, it just notified me that I'm putting above the number so I can visually see if I need to adjust that. Um, if I want to see where I can add in comments, I can go into my preferences and have my column for comments show, or I can use this pop-up bar on the right here that's gonna let me put in any special marks and put in comments. I can also type ABS for absent or whichever ones you have, again, this list is a little longer than what we have access to in our instance of Classroom 360, but I can choose to type EMPT, e it'll pop up here, or I can use this menu and leave a comment. So if I wanna type something in here, this will show in student and parent portal as well, this comment, so I can do that. And then I can continue to move down and this will adjust by student. I can hide this anytime or pop it out. Again, in preferences, I can set it so the co comments column shows up all the time if I want. There's a little indication here. The C means there's a comment for that cell. Let's talk about a couple other helpful tools in our gradebook. So I can click on the title of the assignment here. And here is that fill blank scores that we talked about earlier. Remember, you can go to preference and say, anytime you use fill blank scores, what do you want those scores to fill in with? So here I'm gonna press it and it applied what I asked it to apply. Another helpful hint here is to do the mass modify. So mass modify lets me make changes to my entire column. So I could say, go ahead and set all scores to 100. It can even overwrite the existing scores. So maybe everyone has redone it, made it up. Everybody has 100 now. If I need to just add some points or change some things, maybe I messed up scoring, I told everybody they would get five extra points, I can use this mass modify to do that for me. I click apply and it makes those changes right there. This is also where you click if you need to edit the assignment, maybe you need to change the point value or you need to make some changes to what it's called or the date or whatever. This is how you can get into edit, delete. If you wanna copy this assignment, you forgot to press copy to your other grade books, you wanna do that again, that is all right there for you. So just clicking that heading will give you that information. If you are ready to switch to another grade book, one helpful hint is up at the top, you're gonna to see this book button, and this will let you jump into another grade book, another hour, without having to go home and then clicking back into that grade book. One other helpful hint to look at here is just knowing that in your gradebook across these tabs, these other tabs show you an assignment listing, they show you the different categories you have, and there's even the tab that you will use when open to report your term grades. All of that is done within the gradebook itself. This is a little bit of a shift from what we're used to in Classic. There is an auto save going on every five minutes, but I do have a save button down here at the bottom, so I can press that if I wanna save. And also what's nice is it alert, will alert me if I go back to home, do you wanna save your changes? And you can save your changes there. There are more buttons to check out at the bottom with different reports you can run under tools or even your mass tools if you wanna send a mass email from here. Your Canvas or Google Class Room buttons will be down here as well for you to use. So again, in this video, we learned how to open Gradebook, how to set your preferences, how to filter at the top to see just the amount of uh, categories and dates that you wanna see depending on terms or semesters. We learned how to add assignments to see all of those fields, which allows you to copy to other classes all at once. We learned at the top, you can click on that book button to jump to another hour quickly. And then we briefly talked about these other tabs here where you can view the assignment listing or even report into term grades when it's time. Again, this was a grade book overview in Classroom 360.